Mion's words are stuck in my head. If those two dead bodies are the curse of Oyashiro-sama, then there should be two sacrifices to calm Oyashiro-sama's anger. The four of us snuck into the shrine storage. It's a simple question. Does that mean Keiichi and I are in danger? I got drunk, fell asleep, and decided to stay overnight. Was that because of the alcohol? Or did someone put some drugs in my drinks? It's not like that like me to get drunk and spend a night at Grandma's house. I wanted to forget about the eerie shrine storage, so I drank too much. But it was really too strange for me to get that drunk. Maybe it was a good thing I woke up in the middle of the night. I could have been the one to wake up in a cell. Sometimes it's hard to recognize danger when you avoid it accidental accidentally. A part of me just wants to laugh off that idea, but another part feels frightened that I was so close to danger. I don't think they were going to do anything. I, le I legitimately think that she didn't know that uh, those two did. She knew that someone did. I don't think she knew it was those two. If what I'm thinking is right, how is my Barakaichi doing now? I didn't see him in any of the cells, but that doesn't guarantee he is safe at this moment. Takano and Tomitake have been executed. There's a possibility that Keiichi is already dead. But just like what happened to Satoshi, it might happen for after a few days. When the sun goes up, I'm going to pretend to be Mion and go to school. I fucking knew it. God damn it. I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to check if my Keiichi is safe. If he has already disappeared, the enemy will come after me next. I have to be a decoy for myself. But if he is still safe, I need to keep my eyes on him. Because I know the enemy will come after the that scatterbrain. If I become Mion, Shion will be gone. The enemy will think Shion is already de demoned away, and they will c concentrate on Keiichi. If nothing happens to Keiichi, that's fine too. That proves nothing will happen to me either. Grandma is still sleeping in the wheelchair. I was going to interrogate her. But actually, I'm not expecting too much from her. She's all also known as Emperor Sonazaki. She wouldn't say a thing even if her fingers were cut off. Mion, the next leader, was the complete opposite. She spoke easily, but she didn't know too much about anything. Mion said she was only a messenger, and that someone else is taking care of the negative matters. Is it possible Mion has grown to be a good liar, and that she tried to deceive me with a serious face? But at the same time, I can see Grandma not letting Mion get involved in the dark side. If I were Grandma... I don't think I would use her either. She's too nice, unlike me. There are only ones and zeros in this world, but she thinks there are numbers with decimal points. Obviously. It's never black and white issues. It's always a very, very convoluted thing. There's never just a one yes or no answer. There's never. There's always some way that you can break it down to a further point. So she's right in that aspect. In other words, she can't be cruel. I agree. She's way too nice, and that's what I thats what I said in the second one. She is too nice to do this. No, I refuse this. If Grandma thinks the same way as I do, it's very possible. The one who takes care of the negative matters, X, is the one who actually governs the curse of Oyashiro-sama. If Grandma becomes worried, X does something about it, either directly or indirectly. Or maybe Grandma and X talk about it first. But does X really exist? If he does, his place in the village is a lot more important than the next leader. Unlike me on his too nice, he is discreet, cruel, and cunning. Furthermore, he is extremely close to Grandma. Someone contacts her a lot just before the time of for the curse. Because of the way Tometake died, it could be someone who deals with mysterious drugs. He could be a member of a medical institution. The director of the Irei Institution. I fucking knew it. It's Irei, that uh, son of a bitch. Hey, he's just... He's the one manufacturing the drug. Actually, in the third one where he's going to give him, like, a sedative and stuff, it could have been medicine, drugs to make him claw his throat out. Who knows? Hmm. Irei? In this isolated vi village, Irei is famous for o opening such a beautiful clinic and for working so hard for the villagers. The villagers like his mature personality, and they really respect him. And in the first one, they talked about how they're going to call a doctor. 
Or no, the director. That's what his name was, director. But I think they also called the clinic, I'm pretty sure. Or at least they say they did. I'm pretty sure they did. There's nothing scarier than a doctor who's a murderer. If he or I is the person behind the curse, all the mysterious deaths can be explained. But I think there's only a slim chance of Irei being X. The main reason is that Grandma doesn't trust him. That could be a front, though. She could just say she doesn't trust him just to, so no one actually sp uh, suspects that he's actually doing it. Just like many elderly people, Grandma doesn't like young people. I know she doesn't trust him because he's young. I also know she's criticized his behavior among their relatives before. Although Ira is famous, he is an outsider after all. What better person to choose to carry out your will? He wasn't born here. He tries to keep a good relationship with the villagers as the director of the village clinic, but that's just on the surface. Ah, director. I think he is. I, I think he's involved. I think he is involved somehow. I can't even imagine Grandma telling him about her worries and her dark side. I think he's involved. Some way he's involved. If Grandma was as suspicious as I am, then she would gather only trustworthy people to deal with the dark side. The first people that come to my mind are the leaders of the three families. Leaving Rika out, the re leader of the Kimiyoshi family, is a good possibility. He is the only one who can advise Emperor Sanazaki. They are close in age, and everyone knows that they are very close except that they are in a meeting of the three families. Furthermore, the village leader comes over to the Sonozaki house quite often to talk about the festival, just before Watanagashi. I can easily picture them talking privately. The one to execute the curse of Oyashiro-sama. The one who murdered Takano and Tometake. The mastermind behind the series of the mysterious deaths that have been going on for the past five years. Is he coming after me? Did he get to Satoshi? When I think about Satoshi, I feel uh, elevated. I was fearful of possibility of possibly being this year's victim until just a minute ago. I was scared that X was after me, but when I think about it, I realize, whoever it is, this person is who got Satoshi. I've looked so hard, but I can couldn't find him. I almost forgot about it, this enemy. For better or for worse, he is trying to appear in front of me again. No matter how hard I try, I couldn't find this enemy, but now the enemy is trying to come to me. That's right. I'm not only being chased, I'm chasing too. When I realize it, the fifth year curse is no longer just the year of the fear of death, it is a game. I'm not only being threatened, I'm threatening too. This is the first time the time to settle the score for Satoshi. This is the time to awaken my emotions that have gotten vague over the past year. I can feel righteous in, in, indignation. Good god. Why can't I speak? Righteous indignation and courage flare up in me. The only emotion that can defeat fear is anger. When f anger takes over, fear completely. I feel as if I am reborn. Grandma, why don't you wake up? I kick the wheelchair rather violently. But that doesn't wake her up. Are you just pretending to be asleep? I grab her hair and pull her head up. But Grandma still s stays si still stays silent and keeps a straight face. Then I sense something. I look for an appropriate torture tool. Oh God. Oh God. I'm not gonna feel bad about this torture probably, depending on how gruesome it is. They're all large scale and none of them is handy. That's when I see a cigarette lighter on a cushion in the tatami floor room. Oh God, no. One of the relatives must have left it in there. Oh god, oh god. Ooh. Okay, I might- I don't like burning shit. I do not like- At least human flesh or hair. I don't like that because the smell is god-awful. I light it. A huge flame appears. Well, huge is very relative. I turn the lighter off and go back to grandma with it. Can you see? You can't see it. This is a cigarette lighter and somebody left. I light it in front of her eyes. I'm gonna burn your nose now. You don't want that, do you? I wouldn't want it. So why don't you quit pretending to be asleep? There's still no response. I put the flame right under her nose without hesitation. 
The tip of the flame touches the tip of her nose. Oh, God, stop it. The flame must have burned her nose hair. It smells bad. I'm already sure of it, but I continue. I then bring the flame closer to her eye. Her eyelid doesn't move a bit. The flame burns her eyelashes and it smells bad again. Oh, fuck. Stop it. <laughs> I turn the lighter off and then feel her throat and wrist. I don't feel warmth. You fucking killed her already. <laughs> I don't feel a pulse either. Did she die from the stun gun? I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> Old people are easier to kill, believe it or not. There's no way she could pretend to be asleep without being burnt. Even if, she, even if she could endure the pain. Anyone would reflexively move their eyelids if a flame came close to their eyes. But she didn't. I turned the sink water on and aimed the end of the, the hose to Grandma's face. The water pressure isn't too high, but by squeezing the tip of the hose, I make it the water squirt out. The water hits Grandma's face, but still there's no reaction. Shit. You've got to be kidding me. She's dead. The one who is at the core of everything is dead now. I knew she wouldn't talk, but I didn't expect her to be dead. I never even thought of killing her. I walk around the room restlessly. I don't feel guilty, but I start to feel frustrated with what I've done. Come on. I need to calm down. What do I need to be afraid of? Calm down and stay cool. Calm down. Stay cool. I feel my brain starting to calm down. I feel my emotions starting to cool down. She was my true enemy. The only thing is that I killed her before I con confronted her about it. So sooner or later I would have killed her anyway. She wouldn't have said anything anyway, so there really wasn't a reason why I should let her live. I didn't realize that until now, and that was why I got frustrated. The revenge for Satoshi starts with the unexpected death of Grandma. It's such a strange feeling. It's like I'm starting... I'm wearing soaking wet clothes. I get rid of such feelings with anger. I just can't forgive. I can't forgive Grandma for abusing the Hojo family, including Satoshi, for so many years. She cornered him psychologically as well as physically. She doesn't deserve an easy death by a stun gun. Or oh, too late for that. I pick up a whip that is hanging on a wall. Well, that'll do it. Beat that dead horse. The whip is designed to make sure the person who is getting whipped gets injured. Oh, so there's, what, barbed tips at the end? I swing it upwards, then down. The sound reminds me of the time when I used to jump rope as a whip and hit a wall when I, hurt, I was a child. But unlike then, I see a purple mark on Grandma's face and reddish-black blood starts oozing out. Jesus! I swing it upwards again and then down. This time the whip hits her head. Her hair flies in the air. Fuck. I see a bunch of her hair on the tip of the whip. At the end of the bunch of hair, there is a piece of her skin. Ah, oh, stop it. <laughs> I know she's dead, but I still don't want to read it. <laughs> I guess the whip ripped her scalp and all. I came to hit her with the whip. I don't bother pulling off the hair first. Oh, fuck. The tip of the whip is divided into many points, and each point has fish hooks on it. There you go. Those hooks, added to the speed of the whip, not only scratch the victim, but also rip the skin as well. Ah! Stop it! <laughs> Quit giving me great visuals! Uh, God! Ah, uh, mental pictures are too much. Grandma's hair is all messed up, and her face is getting bloody. She literally looks like a demon. I stop the whipping. Not because my arm is tired, but because I can't stand the feeling of her hair on the tip of the whip touching me every time I swing the whip. I throw the whip at Grandma. I breathe heavily, then I realize I have lots of Grandma's hair on my body. It uh, almost feels like thousands of maggots crawling all over me. I brush them off violently. <laughs> you deserve this, you demon. I put my hands on my knees and breathe roughly. Then I realize. I perk up and turn around. There it is. The person who's been watching me. The stop it. Since I snuck into the shrine st storage, I sense this person sitting in the tatami room. It enjoys watching me torture Grandma. An overwhelming emotion starts to swallow me up, but I desperately try not to feel that emotion. How long have you been there? You should have told me. It's just there. Just like Satoshi. 
It is just there. But it is extremely uncomfortable to have it just there. I see. Rena told me. Are you? Oyashiro-sama. I smile boldly. But I can feel my body is shivering. You can't fool me. Are you saying that you are Oyashiro-sama and that the curse of Oyashiro-sama really exists? Come on! Who'd believe that? Huh? It's just my imagination, but this can't be the curse of Oyashiro-sama. The curse of Oyashiro-sama can't be real. Everything was done by humans. They made everything look like it was the curse of Oyashiro-sama. Well, I don't care if you saw what I've done. I won't change, charge you for it. But if you're thinking about interfering, I won't hold back, you know? No matter what I say, nothing happens. It's like trying to communicate with an insect without emotions. I feel like I'm staring at a spider in the middle of the spider web, and the spider is staring back. Hmm? I turn to Grandma in the wheelchair. I can't leave her body here. If there's no need to appeal her death, then her body shouldn't exist. Not even in the secret basement. Hiff. <sighs> I exhale and try to calm myself down. Oh, I remember now. When I was a little child, Kasai used to love making me feel scared. He often told me a scary story about grotesque stuff. I remember the story about the secret torture room at the Sonazakis. According to the story, there's a well in the torture room to dump bodies. There's a pile of tortured bodies on the bottom of the well, and the resentful moans can be heard. And about halfway down the well, there's a different tunnel which is a secret passage to the distant mountains. I think Mion has, some, has told me something like that too. I guess various stories from relatives are mixed in. They're supposed to be top secret, but I guess it was more fun to make the next leader feel scared. Mion, do you remember one of our relatives talking about a hidden well a long time ago? There's a hidden well somewhere in this underground torture room, and it's connected to a secret passage. Did you hear some noise earlier? That was me whipping Grandma. Mion doesn't reply, but I see her bite her lip. Damn, oh. Oh, I feel bad for her. Oh, stop it. Don't worry, I won't whip you. But if you don't cooperate, I may whip Grandma more. This time I won't use a whip. Down there. Do you see a cell in the dark? It's in there. Mion points weakly. I walk down to where she pointed. A light bulb lights up a cell. It is a lot smaller than the one Mion is in. It's very shallow, and I don't even need to open the grate to see how tiny it is. Of course there is no well. I become angry because I amused... I assumed she lied to me, but I don't think she would, would at this point. I open the grate and walk in. Then I notice something immediately. There's an opening right in the middle of the cell. It's a natural disguise. The way the rocks are positioned and the shadows from the light, everything disguises this well. A tip of the rock inside the cell is the entrance to the well. Unless you walk into it, you won't notice it. But since it's such a shallow cell, nobody would ever think of walking in. Besides, you can see the inside well enough because of the grate. The depth is not even a few meters, so it only takes one glance to see everything. So nobody would think of unlocking the grate and walking in. One can only find it by walking into the cell. Furthermore, there are many cells like this in this huge cave. Who would think of that one of them was hiding a well? The inside of the well is dark. I don't see anything. Not very little no, but very little noise I can produce produces echoes. I can tell this is a very deep well. I bring a flashlight from the torture room and shine it down the well. It almost looks like a vertical tunnel than a well. But it is obviously a man-made tunnel. There's some wedges on the wall like a ladder, and they look as if they're inviting me to come down. Oh, fuck no. Actually, no, Shion, you need to go down. I wouldn't go down. It is, an ir it is ironic that the secret escape route from the underground torture room is a well that takes you even further down. There's no way of knowing whether it takes you to freedom or to hell. Furthermore, there are tortured bodies of past victims at the bottom of the well. Who would be able to go down this well without hesitation? Nobody with the right mind could go down this well to look for a secret tunnel, hearing voices of the victims all the while. Have you ever gone down the, that well, Mion? I never even want to. Ha ha ha, I feel the same way. Why would I go down the well where they toss the victims of this torture room? 
I go back to the torture room and come back to the cave pushing the wheelchair with Grandma in it. Mion screams. Sh Shion, are you going to push Grandma into the well? No, I'm not. I'm just dumping her body. She's dead. Uh, I didn't torture her to death. She probably died from the stun gun. Maybe her heart failed. I could just leave her body here, but I don't want it just to rot, you know? How could you? Hey, do you want to take care of her even after she's dead? I guess you can pick maggots with chopsticks off her body. Huh? Me uncovers her ears and shakes her head. Every t everything I say seems to bother Mion. Her own life isn't guaranteed at this point. Shion, why did you do this? Let's see. Why do you think? Everyone sa says nothing for a while, but the silence is broken. Satoshi? Is this revenge? I don't know if it really was revenge. Since it happened so quickly, I'm sure she died without even feeling a thing. Hey, Mion. When I think about it, I did have a reason to kill Grandma. Do you know what it is? Not just because she was the one who killed Satoshi. It's because she lied. I slap Grandma's head. You're oh, beautiful. You said it too. You told me that if I ripped out my nails, she would forgive everything. That's why I ripped out three of my nails. I did what you told me to, right? But she didn't keep the promise. She made Satoshi disappear. Why? What was that for? I can need continue to slap grandma's head. Grandma's blood is on my hand now, and it feels bad. I try to wipe it on grandma's clothes, but now her hair is on my hand. I run to the sink to the torture room and wash my hands with a brush. When I'm done, I go back to the cell where Mion is. After Satoshi disappeared, you came over and told me. You said the relationship between me and Satoshi was forgiven. You also said that May and Sonazaki family had nothing to do with Satoshi's disappearance. Yeah, I... Liar! Liar, 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 liar. My shouts echo through the cave. I breathe heavily. I feel like I used up all of the air in my lungs. I believe you don't know anything. You aren't even sure if Grandma actually trusted you. But I don't know if Grandma forgave Satoshi because of what I did. She wouldn't have told you the truth. Grandma didn't keep the promise. She said she'd forgive everything, but she lied. She didn't forgive. She didn't forgive Satoshi. Liar, 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 liar. Damn it. Damn it. Give me back Satoshi. I want him back. I want him. I want him. I want him. I want him. I kick Grandma's leg repeatedly. Every time I kick, the wheelchair makes a squeaky noise. <laughs> I run out of breath and kneel down. Miona is still covering her ears and she's shaking. There are tears in her eyes. Sorry to scare you. Sorry about that. If you really don't know, I won't torment you. Don't worry. But, if you were lying lying yourself, well, you have to accept whatever comes your way. Right? <laughs> That's fucked up. You're fucked up, Gion. You're fucked up. I don't approve. I don't approve of this. This is fucked up. Uh, one eighty-three and one eighty-five. Ah! Oh, this is so fucked up. I feel bad for me on so much. I really feel bad for her. I wasn't planning to kill Grandma so quickly. I was gonna kill her anyway, but it was too soon. People would normally assume that the Sonazaki family operates on a hier hierarchical system, but it's wrong. It actually resembles a government system. Several ministries stem from it, and each ministry forms a hierarchy. The ministries don't communicate with one another. The people who belong to a ministry don't even know what the other ministries are doing. That way the secrecy is kept perfectly. Of course, the important people of the family govern several ministries. They know about their ministries. They know a little bit about the ministries that their relatives run. But none of them knows any everything. So that keeps the secrecy. There are positive ministries, negative ministries, and some small ministries that Oryu, Oryu, Oryu runs herself. 
Mion seems to know most of them, but she doesn't necessarily know all of them. In fact, she didn't know about Oyashiro-sama's curse. Considering that, the fact that Grandma died before I interrogated her, interrogated her is a huge loss. You're fucked up. You're a fucked up individual. The leader of the Kimiyoshi family is the one who called the Sonazaki house most often after the curse of the fifth year. The next one is my father. My parents rank high in the system, but because of my mother's expulsion, they don't come to public places. The number of calls from my father shows the grandma's two-sidedness. She actually treated my parents with respect, but on the surface she kept a distance. My father seems to be in charge of the intelligence bureau. He reported police information, gossip, and rumors going around in the Yakuza business to Grandma. He silences uh, dire stirs. No, oh, fuck me. Oh, I can't read. Stirs and distorts that information at Grandma's request. By the way, my servant Kasai is an old friend of my grandpa uh, father's. I can tell why Kasai knows many things, but I don't know if my father is involved in the execution. It seems that although he gathered information of the police investigation about the case, he wasn't involved in the execution of the curse. I wouldn't doubt it. I'm, I'm, tell I'm really thinking it's starting to be Ire. Because I was having this crazy idea that fucking Rena's behind- Like, she could be behind the curse. Because she's really fucked up. But I doubt that. I doubt Rena's behind it. She may be fucking insane. But I doubt she's behind the curse. I'm starting to think... They had a great point with Irei. I really think Irei has something to do with it. Because she said it herself that on the surface, you know, it's de it, she's two-sided. So on the surface, she can just, you know, say, Oh, I resent him. I don't like him. I don't trust him. Blah, blah, blah. But really, in fact, trust him very much. It's very possible. It's not out of the question. Definitely. But I'm starting to think he has something to do with it. Because he just... He seems too nice. Like he's putting on an act. He seems to care too much about stuff. It's just... It's very odd. Even though in the third one he did kill himself. Or someone could have overdosed him on purpose. And acted... Pretended to be a suicide. Or just made it appear to be a suicide. I, you never know. I still think he's involved somehow. The fact that my father and grandmother have this close connection isn't widely known. People know that grandma uses father's information network, but they don't look very close to the surface. On the surface. Just like this fact. It's possible that a curse execution team exists under grandma's direct ruling. People just don't know about it. I definitely agree with that because that showed up in the first one. Where that group of people were there. That were coming after him. And in the third one, there was a group of people. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Was there? No, I was, no, that was still the first one. God, I'm, all the games are running together. Because all I remember is him running. Because, I, yeah. Well, no, the fourth one. That's right. Not the third one. Fourth one. That was a group of people that did it. Like, it was the damn project. It could definitely just be the... the like, just extra people because it was obviously not those two people but definitely the first one there's a group of people that were behind it third one it was just Keiichi being stupid I think like being really paranoid the someone had to have killed Rika so it might have been a group of people it could have been one person would have been fucked up <laughs> either way it's fucked up Uh, other than that, second one, there wasn't a group, it was just Shion, who's killing everyone. But yeah, definitely, I think there is a group of people behind it. I don't think it's necessarily, you know, just magic curse everywhere. I think it's a group of people behind it. There might be some supernatural elements to it, but... I guarantee for the most part it's a, it's a group of people. I think that much can be for certain. Time for Shion to go 
Impersonate, impersonate me on probably. God. Music's nice. <laughs> it's such a happy dream. Satoshi is in in his is in the dream. He leads his normal day life. Daily life. He's back on the baseball team. Yuri and I act normally around him because we think that's how mature people should act. We welcome him back as if he was been here with us the whole time. Oh, stop it, Shion. You're a terrible fucking person. And just because you have this great feeling doesn't mean I'm gonna all... Everything's magically forgiven. <laughs>